Dears, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, again we are here. Uh, we are currently discussing the, the second part of the Nikah talk, which involves the, the search for a partner. So let me remind you that there are going to be uh, several sub segments for each. Today, inshallah, I will be addressing the, the youth primarily, and the next one will address their parents. I will break each one into six to seven minutes, the max. So before I quote an uh, important hadith related to choosing a partner, let me uh, touch a few general points today. So I, I heard from a, a parent that their son is having a difficulty in choosing a partner. Despite coming across numerous excellent profiles, he remains very selective and uh, did not like any. Then he suggested to his son that he should pick one and if it does not work out, he can always get a divorce, otherwise you are not going to get married. That is a very wrong advice though. According to the Quran, the divorce is permitted but not to be praised. The Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said that the divorce is the most hated, permitted thing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Trial and error is not going to work on the marriage. The wedding is very expensive, especially here in US, and also the divorce is very complicated and highly expensive legal procedure. Having a good spouse is a blessing, and they are the person you will spend the rest of the, your life. That, that will be your intention and niya, your goal and mental preparation for that. So it is a difficult decision to let someone into you you know your life and you should not feel pressure to marry someone you are you know not comfortable with it is important to remember that finding the right person to marry is not an easy decision seeking advice and guidance from you know the parents relatives friends and other you know respected individuals can be beneficial in finding the right one that does not necessarily mean you are entering into so called arranged marriage which you may be against it it's like finding a job you know whether you search yourself or someone telling you that there is a company hiring and they share the link for you to apply and the rest all you do you you are the one attending the interview taking the phone calls or right parents have a significant impact on your life and you should not be disregarded when you no longer feel the need for them so it is important to keep them involved since the beginning. Seek their advice and consider their opinion. Even if you believe they may not approve your you know, chosen partner, they have a responsibility to voice their you know, concerns. But ultimately, they only want what is best for you. So you need their blessings, du'as and support and everything. So whether, whether you are using apps or you know, groups to connect or explore yourself, if you include them at the beginning or ask them about you know what profile to be you know restricted like a country based or culture or deen anything you can avoid or sort out many issues at the very beginning they will be able to identify some of the the issues which you may not even think of so before you falling in love with the him or her you know you can take decisions once you fall in love it will be hard no matter what you find at you know later stage so remember so when you start your own family through marriage you are not only creating a new relationships but also uniting multiple families right so it is essential to consider the impact of your decisions on your loved ones and avoid causing unnecessary harm i will inshallah address the parents later so Understand that the marriage is not a temporary solution at all. It is the most important turning point in your life. So use all venues, helplines, everything before you take an important decision. Don't just, you know, jump to a conclusion. So do not take a decision based on your emotions. This is not that. Try to match, inshallah, you know, 50 to 75% of what you are looking for. But you must meet 100% of your top priorities, you know. Don't wait for 100% on everything. There is no such thing called the perfect marriage. Nobody is perfect individually. Then how come two imperfect people become perfect when they get married? But once you marry, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one filling the gap to 100%. Allah is the one making it perfect. 
you trust allah and enjoy your life you know family is the most important cornerstone of the community and the the marriage is the foundation for you know family life according to a hadith when a man marries he has fulfilled half of his religion his deen so you must first and foremost your niya is by marriage you want to earn the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to displeasing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you want the barakah in your relationship allah said wa min ayatihi an khalaqa lakum min anfusikum azwajan litaskunu ilayha wa ja'ala bainakum mawaddatan wa rahmah and one of his signs is that he created for you the spouses from among yourself so that you may find comfort in them and he has placed between you the compassion and mercy allah's mawadda and rahma you needed to have the taskunu the comfort in your you know spouse mawadda is the the intense love that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places between husband and wife so this intimate love becomes the motive for the attraction between you forever uh, you know it's, it's mawadda is not a one time thing at the beginning it is a uh, forever thing So marriage was supposed to be one of the most blessed precious and enjoyable the gift by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life. You took a good decision alhamdulillah to earn Allah's pleasure. Now whatever you do to achieve that goal you make sure you do not displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing wrong in talking and knowing each other. It is very very important to cross check your expectations before you enter into a marriage contract. But do not cross the border you know i am not here to draw the line between the halal and haram but think about this if you marry the person you meet if allah bless you that person is going to be your children's father or mother so for you to have the halal relationship that meeting also should be in a halal way mawadda and rahma only comes with the halal way so do not trick allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Another thing it is impossible to predict the type of person you will marry until you have actually married and shared a life with them. The brief interaction and encounters over a few days or few months or few years are not going to help you for foreseeing or predicting the unpredictable nature of the future events. Inshallah we will connect again uh, in the next clip. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.